Sue and Kevin Burke live in a 200-acre rural farmhouse in Pembrokeshire, West Wales. Married for nearly four years, they live with three of Sue's five children from previous marriages. Jez, 26, Toby, 20, and Theo, 18, who live in the grounds. And Sue's granddaughter, Chloe, often visits too. Beverly and Derek Howes live in the new town of Telford in Shropshire. They've been married for nearly 20 years. <laughs> Five children, 13-year-old twins, Whitney and Courtney, and 10-year-old triplets, Bradley, Dudley and Savannah. Yeah. The wives have agreed to swap husbands, homes and children to see what they can learn from the experience. How will a bohemian wife cope with a family that likes to be waited on hand and foot? Bev, Bev what? To find time. But I don't have a babysitter and they're not at school. Oh, fuck off. How will a town dweller cope living the good life? I just don't want to get into this conversation. And it's really pissing me off, to be honest. And how does a new wife feel when she's sent to live in the doghouse? Oops, can she fit in it? Yes. Yay. So he went to build me a dog house to live in. That was nice because I'm too. Born again Christian, Sue Burke believes in living life away from the cut and thrust of the rat race. Some people have a structure to their day, and I just do it as I go along. I make it up as I go along. And if we survive till lunchtime, whenever that is, then it's all good. Don't scream if I get in your jugular, eh? For Sue, enjoying the great outdoors is more important than how things are indoors. My house is filthy. The laundry room is nasty, dark, dangerous. And then when it's really messy, the cats go down and pee in there because they love mess. This is how they report on mess, they pee on it. Uh, he's a bit of a pushover, maybe. <laughs> he's so obedient. Yeah, well, <laughs> Sue and Kev try and live self-sufficiently on their 200-acre farm. Living the good life and renovating their home can be hard, but Sue's faith helps. You know, we're put here. It's all done for you. You don't have to do anything, you know. And that's why you don't have to worry about it, because it's given, you know. It's free. OK, come and get your dinner. Bradley, don't make a mess. Every morning, professional housewife Beverly Howes gets up at 5.45 to keep to a strict cleaning schedule. I've always been the same, you know, you have to have a clean house, so you're constantly on the ironing board or in the sink. It's important to me that everything's clean and tidy. Take the washing upstairs for me. Put it in the cupboard. A big part of Bev's day is spent doing laundry, up to eight washes a day, and sometimes even more. Well, my kids won't wear anything twice. If they have a shower, the towel's in the wash. They don't use anything twice. But nor do I, and we've never done that. 41-year-old Derek runs his own glazing business, and when he's not working, he's working out, spending eight hours a week at the gym. <sighs> For Derek, it's always me, me, me. He likes to do what he wants to do. I need to go to the gym after I, you know, have a hard day's work. <laughs> yeah, two hours is nothing. It's only four days a week, so I'm not asking for a lot. Oh, I'll see you later. There you go. There we go. OK. OK, see, see you. you. I always say to him, I always feel like I'm at the bottom of the list. That's how he makes me feel, because we don't have no time together. Their separate lifestyles are taking a toll on their marriage. Well, you're selfish. So I think to put maybe me first, I won't say the kids because the kids always go first anyway, mm. but to put me first and let me do something for a change or even choose what to do or where to go, that would be like, wow. Both wives are leaving home and they've agreed to have no contact with their families during this time. See you later. Don't be too weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, darling, this is it. This is where I get my new wife. Hmm? Hey, Right, who's ready for the party then, eh? <laughs> party time! Civilization, look, roundabouts and everything. Absolutely stinks. I felt sick the minute I could smell it. 
before they meet their new families, both wives have a chance to look around their new homes. Oh, wow. Looks like they haven't got a tumble dryer looking at all the wet washing on the line. Oh, I'm so sorry for her. My house is such a mess. Oh. And everything's really dirty. Just look at that. God. This is filthy. This is absolutely minging. Oh, I've got the shivers actually now. So tidy. Oh, God. She's going to have such a hard time at Ponte I bet she hates spiders. Oh, my God. I'm not going down there. Jesus, what? I hate anything like this. It's creepy. Oh, God, no way. Oh, and there's cobwebs and spiders. I feel like I've gone back in time. Definitely got the worst end of the stick I have. She's a lot younger than me. He's going to die when he sees me, oh, no. Each wife has written a manual as a guide to the running of their home. There is no need to do any housework at all. After the first four years, the dirt doesn't get any worse. Oh, well, that explains why this house is absolutely minging. It's my job to ensure we constantly look pristine. To achieve this, I have to get up at 5.45 to spend most of my day washing and ironing, including weekends. We really like going to Oxfam. <laughs> oh, I will never have second-hand clothes. My family insists on having a fresh set of clothing to wear every morning and, e and evening, and once they've used a towel, they expect it to be washed. I may have created a rod for my own back. My husband, Kev, would like to be the head of the household, but I'm most definitely the voice of authority. So obviously she's the one that speaks out and says the do's and don'ts. That's what I believe. I would love Derek to compliment me, take me out and not take me for granted. Don't bother asking Derek for any help or advice around the house as he has his own separate routine. Good. Can't stand the bloke getting in the way. Hello. 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 Where's my dinner? Pleased <laughs> 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 to meet you. Pleased to meet you too. Hi, Bev. Hi, Kev. Hi, Hello. Toby. Nice Hi, Toby. Hi, Toby. Hi, Toby. Nice Hi, to meet Bev. You. And nice to meet you too. How many kids do you have? I have five children. Oh, yeah. I have twins and triplets. So she's got a work oh. out for it. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Yeah, How are you? Okay. I'm good, thank you. How are Very you? Very good. Fine, How'd thank you, you. Yes, good. Had a good journey. Very good journey. Excellent. Thank you. Billions. I'll just introduce Hi. you to the, the whole family. This is Bradley. Bradley. He's one of the triplets. Savannah. Savannah. Well done. <laughs> um, 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 I forgot. Dudley. Dudley. And Whitney. This is Whitney, Whitney. and Courtney, Courtney, the twins. So what kind of house have you got there? It's a farm. It's two hundred acres. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, you haven't been told anything, have you? <laughs> We're going to, she's going to get lost. Is she there going... <laughs> Is she, I don't know what she's there doing. She's there going, oh my God, I can't wear my shoes here. <laughs> she's going to go crazy. I'm so sorry for her. She's a very cleanliness person, Bevis. You know, she's I very... I know, I heard. I should go back to a spotless house and she'll come back to one with um, uh, the spiders I brought with me in <laughs> it. I didn't. Oh, right, OK. No, not deliberately. <laughs> they can get in your hair, though. It's not the spiders yeah. in Sue's hair Derek is worried about as he heads to the gym. If she starts getting into her habits the way it is back at her place, then obviously there's going to be a bit of a, a polite domestic. She's going to have to sort herself out if it's, uh, that's the way she's used to living, because that's not the way we're used to living. The scenic mountains of Wales are making less of an impression on Bev than the mountains of washing. Because I don't like it piling up. I hate mm. to see like piles of washing and ironing. We're a bit the other way. Hmm. Maybe, like, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just because we're lazy, yeah. though, Kev. <laughs> yeah. There's elements of the lazy, I suppose. Yeah, it's just easy going. It's mm. just like, hey, you know, that's the kind of attitude, isn't it? I like everything to be clean around me. Mm. You know, it's just the way I am. I mean, I've got five kids and. I clean it and 10 minutes later I think, oh God, I don't feel like I've done anything here. And most times I get the Uber back out again and do it. I think the mess is going to drive me mad. I wanted to go and get a cloth and wipe the side down, but I didn't want to look rude either. You know, that's the way they, they live and that's what they like. But um, I could definitely do with a few bottles of bleach and stuff. Mm. 
In Telford, Sue Burke has swapped a bohemian lifestyle for the never-ending chores of a professional housewife and mother of five. But she's already cutting corners. I'm hoping that by ironing them all at once, that they'll be underneath the ones will be ironed by the time I get there. <laughs> Sue's been up since before six, following Bev's schedule. It's not what she's used to. You know what, this is my idea of nothing to do. I mean, you know, if you've reached this point in your life, you obviously haven't got anything really serious that needs attending to, but that's fine. Bev would have done four hours of housework by now, but in accordance with Sue's manual, her day I'll hasn't started yet. Right. Thank you. Hello. Hi, morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you very much. Now I'm about to go trudging through all the mud and sheep poo and everything else. I haven't bought the right kind of gear, so I'm going to shove on what I can and see. This is obviously a different way of life. I don't think I could ever adapt if I was dumped here and left here for a year. I must probably go insane. Wow, that's amazing. Sue's still ploughing on with her chores, and she's getting creative with her shortcut. See, and actually, that's ironed now. They won't be able to tell the difference. But will her more relaxed approach to the housework get Derek's seal of approval? Check it out. Oh, check it out. Yeah. Have you been like I'm going totally bonkers. I mean, I did this for 20 years and I thought I'd stopped and now I'm doing it again and Bev needs a miracle. Um, that's kind of what I got when I prayed for the space I had, you know, the big house, the big farm. I didn't earn that, I didn't make it, I just, you know, I got blessed with it, so yeah. Bev needs a miracle. Sue rarely splashes out on new clothes, but Bev needs something more suitable for farm living. So Kev's introducing her to Sue's favourite charity shop. These are uh, oh, wow, right, yeah, a bit big, aren't they? But I suppose they're right for the farm. Can I have a look at the, the shirt on as well? So Kev's well, sure his choice, choice will go chairs, down well, with the livestock at least. I think the horses are going to really like you. Sure, I won't frighten them away. Yeah, they're going to like you the way you are. Yeah, that's sorted. I agree. I agree totally with that. I bet a hat. I'll never step foot in a child shop again. I'd rather go to Primark and buy nice new clothes, and he can pick up some bright bargains there. Tea time, and Sue's enjoying family time with the kids. That's what we're doing this thing, it's good, man. Great stuff. Good, man. Mm. Derek's at the gym. Still, at least he's thinking about his home. I think mean, one day of the, all the washing and the ironing and that, like, I think it's okay for one day, but to continue that for a little longer, I think she'll end up getting a bit messy. And if she wakes up tomorrow like that, it's, it's going to be awful. And this is when she's going to start slipping. I had the same deal with my ex. I looked after the kids and he looked after the money. I'm seeing the same pattern here and you know what? I'm, I'd like to have a chat with Bev about how that so could lead to exdom, you know? It's, it's a very dangerous path because you both lead separate lives and you start losing touch with each other, you know? In Wales, the conversation has taken a puzzling turn. It's hard to explain, but a Japanese guy once reckoned that water, if you talk to it, um, it would change the molecule structure of it. I know it's a bit much, isn't it? Anyhow. When Kev believes something strongly enough, he won't let it go. And you just have to say, Kev, I'm eating my food. Shut up. I don't actually mean to be, you know, rude, but you do talk some rubbish. <laughs> Always will, probably. I know. I'm going to get told off for it again. <laughs> I think Kev talks a load of crap. It's all like rubbish. I don't know what the water's meant to do something. I think if you listen to it, it, you, it kills your brain. The next morning, Bev does what Sue does. Nothing. I'm bored because I'm sat here. It's so quiet. I'm going out my mind. Um, I don't know what to do. She seeks out Jez and Theo in their caravan to discover more about their relationship with Kev. What's his actual role in the house? 
although he's sort of mum's husband and man of the house, I don't think he plays that role really because he's only been here a short time and we've been here for ages and we're all grown up. Would you like him to play the man of the house? If he'd have come in and tried to sort of take over the show and tell everyone what to do, it would have, mm. that would have been a nightmare. Yeah. So your mum's the boss of him? <laughs> I'm going to have to say yes, actually. Yeah, probably. <laughs> he, he won't like that. He won't like it, but <laughs> it's probably true. <laughs> While Bev's getting a good picture of Kev's position in the household, she's getting sized up by all creatures, great and small. Last time I fed a horse was, um, well, I was a little tiny. Well, I've horse, I have rode, rode a horse, but um, it was uh, when I was a kid. Can you get that wasp away for me? There's two, actually. Let's take another apple. And once it's on your hands, that's it. Take it, please. Oh, off. It's not, it's not good to... to uh, Mm. Oh well. Uh, come on, now, horses. Get attacked by wasps. Come on. Sue's enjoying some pampering. Nail extensions courtesy of Derek's sister, Teresa. You do look very good to say you've got five grown up children. Probably because I haven't taken life seriously ever. I think that's important, though, it is, isn't, it? isn't it? So they will last till next week. Yeah, just don't clean the carpet. Oh, all right then. But it says in my manual I have to do it every day. Mind you, they are very clean. It's the cleanest house I've ever been into. Is it? Yeah. Hello, darling. You're right. Be but back at home, fine, she's you. still struggling to impress Honey, Derek. Honey, I haven't cleared up yet. Can you go away a bit longer? What a mess. <laughs> oh, God, please don't say that. What a mess. Is this where you do all your washing up? Is this to, there to dry? It's You're hiding them, aren't you? It's what? You're hiding them to the place look good, aren't you? It's yes. Bloody hard. <laughs> Derek's raked up some unhappy memories for Sue. He's very like my ex, you know, he's very organised and gets things done. But it's hard living with a bloke like that, you know, because he demands high standards. Well, I ain't got them. So what do you normally do then, really, if this is your house now? Would you just... Maybe once a week, once a month, or...? You know, my ex used to come home and start sweeping the floor after a five-hour drive from London because he was so neurotic about the state of the floor. Is that why he divorced you, or...? He divorced me because I was a mess. I'd rather be happy than have a totally ironed lot of clothes. Surely climbing up the hill is more interesting than keeping a tidy house. What I'll do is I'll build you a tree cap out there <laughs> and you can go and live out there then, yeah? Will you? I'll knock you something up, a couple of polythene bags and you'll sleep out there, seriously. <laughs> I have no problem with sleeping outside. Right, I'm going to build one now. While Derek and the children are busy building a bolt hole, Sue returns to her chores, but she's upset by Derek's banter. I hate being called dirty, it's not nice. Fucking nails! Bloody things, they hurt. <laughs> My husband used to do this. He'd make me cry over something, and he's doing that. Oh, I can't believe I'm playing along. Ah, oh, poor Bev. Come on, Savannah, get from here now, because it's a mess in here. Sue's doghouse is complete. She puts on a brave face for the kids. Wait, just look if you can fit. Wait. Look inside if she can oh. fit in it. Oops. Oops, can she fit in it? Yes. Yay! She's really good, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's fabulous. I'm not going anywhere. That's it, that's me. How's the house? Is it all right? You happy now? No, it's you who's going to be happy, not me. I love it. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, I'm safe Nice here. and warm. Yeah. You're not going to sleep in here, seriously? Yeah. Do you want me to? Do you want it's me not your, it's to? It's your decision. No, you said. You I love said. it. He went to build me a dog house to live in. That was nice because I'm too dirty to live in the house. And it's meant to be funny and it should have been, but I just reacted all wrong. And spider. I really don't care about spiders. Unbelievable. I've met a match with her, I think. I'm done next week now. Now I've done that, she does that. She's going to talk to me next week, then you'll see. I can see a lot of hours of work coming up and not coming back home. <laughs> Gonna hide away. Kev's invited Clive from his local church around for a jam session. And even Bongo Virgin Bev's playing along.
Kev seizes the opportunity to spread the word. And it's excellent for a Christian. They're there to um, reach out to people and, and teach them the, the knowledge of what they know to say, at least to say to you um, about Jesus and, and what he's done and then just to give you that knowledge and then, then it's up to you to choose what you, if you believe it or not, but at least tell you the truth of it. I don't want to be in with the preaching mark and I'm here listening to it. That's not preaching. It is, because the minute, every time you're on about it, it's preaching it, because you're on about it to me. It doesn't matter if you two guys want to sit there to each other. It's explaining to you But I don't want to. Yes, I, I know, it. it's your life. You, you're trying to yeah. make me agree with you, and I'm not going to do it. I really I'm aren't going to do it. Either. Well, really, really that's really it really. then, you know. Just cool it, please, honestly. Go on, on about it, go on, on about it. I just don't want to get into this conversation. And where are we? In this conversation, and it's really pissing me off, to be honest. I don't want to talk about it no more. End the story. Derek goes on about work and the gym, and Kev goes on about God. And to be honest, I'd rather been listening to Derek going on about work and stuff. In Telford, the children have put a stop to the adults behaving like children about the doghouse. I don't want to upset Whitney, actually. She was so nice. Oh, bless her. You were so yeah. sweet about it. But you are going to get ill, though, Phil. Yeah. And I don't want you to think that. So. It could rain, so, I mean, you yeah, know, we don't want to get ill, do we? Mm. Okay. And it's always there if you change your mind, anyway. Thank you. But I'm staying with your sensible children in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow. It's the day before rule change, and assorted members of the house family have gathered for their weekly get together. Any one line, two pound fifty. Oh. Any two lines, three pound fifty. Oh. And the full house, a massive ten pounds. Oh. Six oh sixty. On its own, number two. More. Four and seven, forty-seven. Bingo. What? I've never done it before, and I probably won't do it ever again if I'm lucky, but um, it's nice to see everyone get together. You know, the whole sort of family get together thing. I think it's really lovely. But um, when we get together, we just talk, you know, just sit around and natter. Um, Sue, put back the rice, love. Yeah, it's... You better go and check it. We don't want burnt yeah. offerings. Because you're watching on the last game. You understand it, don't you? Uh, three full lines is something, isn't it? She'll do, won't she? She'll learn. 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 Sue's nervous about imposing her rules tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to being the one they all rebel against, you know. I'm the rebel around here. But Bev can't wait. Sue's life is very difficult for me to lead. My life is more planned out. I know exactly what I'm doing. Everything just falls into place. So sick of this shirt. It's done my absolute head in. There's only one good place for this. It's the last I've seen in that shirt. And my life starts tomorrow. It's rule change day. And no surprise that Sue plans an all-out rejection of housework. And Bev is planning an all-out assault. I'm in control now, so things are going to change. And we're going to clean this house top to bottom. <sighs> Hi, guys. Hi. When I first arrived, I was appalled by the state of the house. I would like us to work together to get this house super clean. I want everything spotless by the time I leave. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start off with an eco zone. All these are about um, taking care of the planet. Actually, it's more about saving mum, this eco zone. So, mum is the planet. So, this is what I'm suggesting not to use the tumble dryer and no more ironing because if you fold things properly, they flatten. No, no, I mean, <laughs> this is stupid. If you want to walk around looking like words or gummage and smell like a turd, I mean, that, that's fine, but. We ain't gonna I'm do that. saying I look like Russell Gummidge and smell like a turd. <laughs> I'm just giving you an example. Kev, you are a very nice guy, but you don't have enough authority. You need to take control and get a bit of backbone. 
Firstly, I want you to take charge by enforcing a cleaning rota. Right. Secondly, I'd like you to be the commander of a family game of paintball. Right, yeah, okay. <laughs> you Great better stuff. win. Yeah, do you like it? Couple zone, time for you and Bev. Um, romantic evening out once a week. Yeah. Just, just you and Bev. Um, I want to go to the gym together, that's you and me. I'm more than happy for that as well. If yeah. You know I mean. But who babysits? Well, you need a babysitter. More money. How much do babysitters cost? I don't know, it's best to find out because I mean, I don't really have the funds for that. Anyway, is that anything else? Um, well, you can move on. Um, family zone. I want to go into the painting and the land art and the music areas where each one has an instrument they can play. Uh, I'm happy for them to have instruments, but I mean, how are we going to fund this? Well, the way I've always done it is pray, but I know you haven't got that facility. <laughs> Kev, I respect your religion beliefs, but I'd prefer you to keep your views to yourself. Right. No more God, please. Okay. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> <laughs> and the spirit zone is uh, going to church, but that's obviously just a choice f while I'm here. Obviously, later on, you're going to make your own choices. Yeah, in the Washington is uh, a no no. I'm not going to look at trollop nor my kids. Um, and the rest of it we'll just see as we go along. Off your bombs, let's go. I'm going to be on to Kev about it, you know, he's the one in charge, so he's got to implement this now, so I'll be kicking his ass. I'm looking forward to playing paintball, it should be good fun. <laughs> I reckon there might be a bit of friendly fire. <laughs> <laughs> You're in control here. Sure. They're to do what you say. Yeah. You know, don't take any crap off them. It's your home and we're going to sort all this out together. Right. Kev rises to the challenge of drawing up a rotor of household chores. Hello everyone. I've got some rules, so do you mind? <laughs> you got, you're ready You've to. got some rules. I have got some rules. No. Well, can you sit down first? <laughs> I'm going to sit down by the table. I'm going to come down this table for you. Ah, to you as well. Rules of the house. First, respect the house. Uh, put away what you use in the kitchen and keep it clean. Keep dirty washing off floors. Let's work together to make this house clean. Thank you. And if there's anything that you object to or think is wrong there, then let us know. I hope you have fun in charge and I hope the power doesn't corrupt you. <laughs> <laughs> 20 miles from Telford, Sue has brought the family to a church that's in keeping with her style. a good group that um, got a, love, a lot of love and passion. Unfortunately, it's not my cup of tea, um, so I'll just keep looking, I suppose. It's good, it's what I need. It's my, that's my food, you know. I was getting hungry. <laughs> Suffering from low god sugar. <laughs> Sue's boys have made a start on cleaning the house. I don't think Kev was very comfortable enforcing the rotor. I think he enforced the rotor because Bev enforced him to enforce the rotor. So I don't think that's something he would normally do. I think the rotor is not important. What's important is everyone just needs to do their bit, no matter what the rotor says. Bev's well, keen to funny. see how that's Kev's right. new role is going down with the troops. That's really good. I really like this. What do you reckon to it? Yeah, and Kev's standing up for himself. It's good though, isn't it? It you all know that, exactly what you're going to do. I think it's brilliant. The guys worked really hard and they all worked along with me, so it wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought they'd give me a bit of stick, but nope. Sue wants the house family to understand the impact their lifestyle has on the planet. I would like to demonstrate da -da, how you can replace 58 million things with three. No, one, two, three, four, five. So in terms of cost, though, so exactly what we're looking at for what we just replaced all that with. Well, you could add up that and add up that, and I bet this comes to less. And the length of time? 
that's up to whoever uses them. It's As going in, to be is, is economical. It's concentrated or? It's, always, it's very concentrated, yeah. Then we'll give it a go. On the use. Okay. I need this. Yes. We've changed 10 bottles for the sake of, you know, replacing them four. And if it's, you know, helps the environment, then happy for that as well. It's the end of a challenging day, and Kev's made a good start at taking charge. But Bev wants him to aim high. You know, and this is your home. I'm not getting respect in that area, and I'm not, and that's not right. Well, that's something that has to be addressed, and I think Sue needs to back you up on it. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Because the guys are older, and he's come into their lives a bit later, they try to rule him. So he feels like the lodger of the house. Really, it's his home, and... Uh, it's a shame because he doesn't feel like it's his home. In my situation at home is um, Derek's a really hard-working guy, but we don't see enough of each other. I want to get my life back on track in the sense of, you know, I don't want Derek to be selfish anymore. I want him to start thinking about me, How you know. How do you do that? Well, I've got to go. I'm going back and I'm putting my foot down. Come on, Derek. Come on, man. Get back to where you, when you first met her, how much you loved her then. <laughs> yeah, then love her. Love her for this wonderful. Look at what you got. you got a beautiful mm. woman, you know. As a new day dawns, Kev prepares to go to war. Hi, Kev. All right. Hi. Good to see you. Hi, Kev. Hi, Mel. Okay, be really vocal. They're not listening to you. Start shouting at them. If needs be, give them a little kick up the backside. Happy with that, Kev? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Excellent. All right, thank you. Good stuff. Cheers. <laughs> They're going to hear my voice proper this time. They ain't heard it for a while. It's the, it's the mouse that roars. Roar! You know. Ready? One, two, Hello. three. Yay. Kev's got one chance to prove himself as leader. Finally, Kev triumphs. And it's a single courageous manoeuvre that establishes his leadership. Yes! Kev came through there, didn't he? Shone through as a leader and um, pulled the flag up at the end there. It was a brave move. Going out and getting totally splattered. <laughs> Derek's also under assault. At least his ears are. I'm really concerned about the neighbour at the moment, you know what I mean? All the noise that's going on. Dad, I need okay. strings on mine. He done it. Tonight, Sue's supposed to go to the gym with Derek, but neither of them well, have organised like the baby I mean, we've got... Just stick the fingers and no, make it... No, you, you give me too much short notice now. I mean, had, had, had you said that earlier... <laughs> I told you yesterday. Yeah, I, I presumed you was trying to sort that yourself as me? well. Me? Right? Yeah. What, me sort of babysitters? I'm, I don't live here, I don't know the people. Well, I've just tried to make some inquiries now, and, and, you and said I can't that... do it. <laughs> I make gravy. <laughs> Bev... Managed Bev, to what? find time to look after the kids, entertain them, okay? I've done and, that, yes. And, take, take. And, and Bev would have found time to have two hours at the gym this morning to do the swimming. But I don't have a babysitter and they're not at school. Right, okay. Oh, so, welcome really to the real life what Bev has. You know tight. what? This is my area, okay? The kitchen. No, That's I haven't space. finished that. No, this no, trust space. me. I'll, this is this is what I do here, the kitchen. You've got your area, the gym and the workshop. I've got plenty of time yet. You, I you, really you, don't want you to be doing this. It's, it's what I normally okay. do anyway, to be honest with you. So I'm quite happy to do it. I mean, well, I don't want you to do it because you're chucking stuff away that I wouldn't chuck. Yeah, otherwise tonight when I sit down, you're going to say I'm going help you at all. I don't want I help do. in the kitchen. Because you're going to throw things. I'm cooking. I'm not the compost. You, you've got me I'm compost cooking it. He's unbearable, oh God. He just can't stop picking, can he? Pickety pick, pick, pick. She's dirty, scruffy. I don't think she's really doing what she was supposed to be doing, to be honest with you. What have you actually been doing today, seriously? Oh, don't do that. It's so traditional. You haven't done a thing all day. You've only had five kids climbing well, I, I, up your just, legs. Obviously, Ben's the superwoman, then. All I'm saying is, you've got to come back home. Everything's done. It's all nice and clean and tidy. I've just come back now. You haven't been trained, so you're moaning. So there's two hours there. There's a good two hours being here. There's four hours. What's that time? Half a day. What's the answer to the question? Job, half a woman. See you later. I 
Don't out. forget to try an Uber <gasps> up soon. I've left the Uber out here quick because I've got to go, all right? <laughs> Seriously. You're a cartoon character. Oh, no, honestly, you, you know. are a cartoon. <laughs> He's going to be angry and I'm not looking forward to it. Flashback, you know. Fresh from his paintball triumph, Kev's all pumped up. I love her to bits, but, you know, I'm going to be her leader as well. I'm going to show her the way. And I want her to be my second in command and I want her to be as strong as I am and to show that leadership qualities that I've got. Back from the gym, Derek's pumped up too. Still too busy? Good session. Obviously you haven't with the ironing board, I went to the house or the hoover. Excuse me, my yeah. rules, my rules at the moment. You didn't say on your rules that you were going to stop hoovering. I you didn't say on your rules that you were going to leave the dining room in such a mess. What should you be doing all day? Today? Hmm? Nothing? That's what I thought. I thought the words were out of my bloody mouth. So the hoovering and everything else, the way the dining room looks, we're going to leave that then, yeah? I just want to just confirm Well, myself. I'm quite happy with it. Because you can have the hoover, just say, and I'll do it. I'm not hoovering tonight. So, tomorrow? Well, I hadn't planned tomorrow yet. It's like your job. She's a scruffy cow. If she just, like, put tenths of her effort into bloody hoovering, we would have been happy. Um, I was a bit scared to begin with because, you know, he certainly wasn't pleased when he came home. As far as Bev coming back into the same setup, she's behaving in exactly the way it takes to deal with him. She's doing precisely what is required and she's, she's a saint and I applaud her. The next day, most of the family are busy transforming the house according to Kev's new rotor. However, Toby's nowhere to be seen. Bev and Kev find him in his caravan, where he's working on his own projects. Okay. I just want to uh, you to help out in uh, the garden with Jez, because there's some jobs that you're doing around the front of your house and that, just to tidy it up for the, the sort of look of it. I'm not going to do it now. Why? Because I'm working. Yeah, but my point is... I'm not doing it now, I'm working, Kev. The point I'm saying to you is, Jez, the, the thing is being done now. When I'm ready to come and help, then I'll help. If it's done without me, then that's great. That's, it gets done. What's the problem? I think it's the wrong way around. Okay, time. let's I'm look. It's not getting anywhere not here. You're just, just no, shouting. No, I know. I'm being so stubborn. So yeah, you are being blinking stubborn. And we have as well. Oh. Listen, you Toby. Don't need, I don't need extra problems. I've got work I'm to do. I'm not giving you pro extra ready. problems. Think about it, right? You all said you would do this. He's being no, awkward today. Doing. He's got his awkward and I think, well, stuff you. I don't care. So, but I'm very disappointed with him. Eventually, Toby bows to pressure. Toby, thank you. It's all right. I said I would. I just said, you know, when I'm ready, when I've done what I need to do, and I'll come down to help before I go back and do some work. As part of her drive to get the house kids to be more creative, Sue's given them free reign with a load of paint. Even Derek's entering into the spirit of things, complete with protective clothing. <laughs> not indoors, not indoors. You'll get it on the... You'll get it on the... <laughs> no more ironing. No more washing. I felt a bit more easy today because of the thought I had last night, thinking, you know, that wasn't me. I just want to chill out, so I think it's a sake for a bit of a mess or what I don't know. Let's just enjoy my life. Please, I'll just look at my dad. Don't tell your mother. It'll be up before she gets back, all right? <laughs> and finally, Derek's a taking a more relaxed ah, to clean. Hang on. Glad he was moving then. Wash your hands together. What I'm doing is get all your hands together and get it all off your arms, dude. Wash your arms, Savannah. Get it all off. Get it off me! Me. There's a good one. You're not going back in the house until you're clean. And that's final. Okay, don't do it again. One of Sue's rules is the introduction of date night. And so they've come to wine, dine, and have a heart to heart. 
So have you learned anything since you've been here? Yeah, I've learned how you are, and it's completely logical. I wouldn't have chosen that path myself, but I can see exactly why you do what you do. It was kind of good chatting with him, actually. I think he's on a very determined course of his own. <laughs> I don't think it's going to change. Kev's got even bigger plans to sweep Bev off her feet. It was very important for me to see Bev enjoying herself so much. This is the woman who likes enjoying life and you've got to take her out to see the true woman she really is. <laughs> it was really good, fun tonight, dancing. I think the, the Bev from day one to the Bev today is very different. I let everyone walk over me a little bit, you know, leave myself to be last on the pile kind of thing. I don't think I'll be doing that anymore. It's the end of the swap, and both wives are preparing to leave. Amazing. Come and visit. Yeah? Yeah. I will. I'm glad it's over. I know you will. I'm looking forward to seeing Bev's verdict to the side and um, get things back to normal. Take care. I'll remember you all forever. <laughs> now I will. <laughs> Yeah, I've got you some badly. I imagine. Beautiful. Snagging. Oh. I've missed you. <laughs> hey. Hmm? Hey, bless you, child. Hello <laughs> <laughs> again. Hello again. Hello again. Hello again. Hello again. Hello again. Hello Hello again. Hello again. Hello I've heard so much about you. Definitely. Yeah. Tell me your overall view on Derek. I mean, I'm sure you've got a few of them, so please just be honest. He's mellowed a lot the last week, actually. He started off calling me dirty, which mm -hmm. is probably true. This is what I called you superwoman because, I mean, she didn't really do anything. Read a magazine, looked at the TV. The first week, I didn't do anything. I, but I was absolutely bored out of my head. Nothing gets done there. It's like, you know, well, no to now. Here, but, you know, the house was such a mess. When I first walked in there, I was like, I thought, I was, God, my God, what have I come to? It was like absolutely unreal. What is it about cleaning that everyone doesn't think about anything else? And the life is not about cleaning. Look up, you know, so we're all lying in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars, you know, it's Boring to tears. I'm actually in tears because I'm be boring, listening that to a conversation to do, about cleaning. Is Once that all you, you guys ever think about? You haven't cleaned. You don't clean. I'd rather you, stand you, in the really field and yeah, but what's make wrong a painting. In the house? What's wrong with it? What's right with cleaning? <laughs> <laughs> what is what is the point of living well, actually, simply to make you know I cleaning? Can you don't feel like cleaning the house. That's fine. I'm well, not go a cleaner. I'm going to. No, because the house is filled. And I'm not joking, there's nothing worse than sitting down and you're covering in crap all over you. I never want to talk about cleaning ever again. There's a whole race of people who like to clean, and I'm not one of them, all right? So I'll go somewhere else where I don't have to think about We're not putting other pressure people's on you. We're just... bums on their t toilets. I actually, I'd like to say I think you've got a lovely family. Mm. Um, the guys have made me so welcome in your house. Mm. But I will say they don't take Kev serious at all. No. They treat him like a joke, basically. Yeah, that's true. And I actually think that's really bad. Um, I think that I want to take more authority in the areas that I haven't been doing. Ooh, his eyebrows are getting all strong. And you're going to come <laughs> under that authority. And I want you to back me up. Because with Bev, the one thing she did do when she came in the house is she backed me up 100% with the boys. If people aren't going to take him serious, then they're just looking at him basically as an idiot around mm. the house. That's not good enough. No, I'm it not, isn't really. I'm not really. taking that, I'm telling no, you. I, I honestly, get, I was no, like no, no, bored over that. that. Again. I've learnt a lot by again up with Kev. He's the most charming person I've ever met. <laughs> Talk about paying me compliments. Really? He praised everything I did, you know. Thanks, Bev, you've cleaned, you know. Very good it taste. just showed that he was appreciative. <laughs> you never bloody well do that. Very nice you walk in that house, all you, you think about is your sodding gym, which I'll tell you now, that's going to change. <laughs> if you don't want that I didn't to change, change. Did I? no, but I'm going to change because now I've realised what I want out of life. Yeah. And I don't want, this is not the life I want with you. I don't want to be with you mm. to be tr taken for granted. I don't I'm, mean to take you for granted, well, do I? Well, it's not just taking you for granted, Deck, to be honest. It's everything. You don't show any affection at all. 
you know, and to be honest, I'm really sick of it. So if you want to carry on your single life, that's fine. I don't, do I? I don't, I don't take the piss. But I, you, I there's no love in you. Mm. You know the reasons. I don't like the reasons. It's there isn't nothing there. So things have to mm. change. So you've got a choice now. We can go home and we'll see how things go. And hopefully they will go right because I don't want to walk out the door. Well, actually, no, I, I, won't, actually I'm, I'm, I won't walk out the door because no. you'll go. I am not going to be taken for granted anymore. Tidy. Tidy like Hello. 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 Kiss you. Mm -hmm. oh, you smell nice. <laughs> Jack Kev's rules. Respect the house. Yeah. Respect. House. <laughs> She's going to hate mine. What was it? Make as much mess as you can. <laughs> I was. Hello! Hello! Oh my god, look at all you beautiful children! Oh my god, my goodness me! Surprise all my cleaning stuff. In the church. Gotta sure. come back. See, I sneaked that, Mum, because I wouldn't let this go. I um, sneaked it and put it back. Did you? Good one. A month later and Bev's rule changes are a distant memory. I mean, I think Bev's whole idea that for some reason Kev had to do something, be involved in, in all the household stuff is, I mean, Derek's not involved in the household stuff. Up to date, it's been my area and it's kind of hard to bring someone else in on it, you know? I don't know how you do that. We had a big family discussion around the table and some of the stuff that got said there made it clear that it wasn't, there wasn't going to be what I say goes. You know, that was like, this is how it's going to be and I'm going to have to jolly well put up with it. So it's back to the bottom of the pile for Kev and for the laundry. I think it just brought up some stuff that was hiding and we still haven't quite dealt with it because I don't know how to, frankly. I don't know how you change the way things are done when I've only ever done them this way. Bev and Derek's fortnight apart has had a more profound effect. He does appreciate me loads more now. You know, he comes in and makes a cup of coffee, you know, which is something he doesn't do. And I can see he's really tried. It's taken something like this wipe swap to change me, really, and it's made me pump my eyes up and think, yeah. I think I can knuckle down and uh, play a bit of a role in helping out a bit more, really, yes. I've stopped one night at the gym, so that extra night now we can sit down and just talk about how selfish I've been. So.